So something profound happened to me last week and for some reason I feel this need to share it with everybody because I feel like it might be able to help somebody out there. So here goes. Alright, so for a very long time, um, I was the type of person who had such a negative mindset. Um, in any situation, I was always preparing for the worst. Um, I looked at the worst case scenario before I looked at the best case scenario. Um, just negative. I mean, outside, I looked like a happy person. Um, but on the inside, I was very, very sad and negative and I just couldn't see the positive or the good that was in the world and so a few years ago I hit a point in my life where things just were terrible I felt like you know there just wasn't any reason to be here anymore quite frankly um and I was going through a stressful period I was in residency and if you know anything about working as a doctor um it can be quite stressful so I decided, because um, you know, you can make choices, I decided to take some time to evaluate what was going on in my head, why I had all these negative thoughts, um, and wanted to go on a self-love type of journey. And so in going through this journey, I had to evaluate my entire life and try to figure out where did these negative thoughts come from. And for me, the large majority of these thoughts came from my childhood. Now, I grew up in a small village in West Africa, and I had asthma, pretty bad asthma, and it was not controlled. So in my village, you know, asthma was something that could be managed with a nebulizer, um, you could go to the hospital, but there was no primary care, so there was no way for my doctors to figure out what my triggers were and all of that. So I basically had a childhood where I always feared of dying, um, and I always felt like I was going to be drowning just because I couldn't breathe for a huge majority of the time. So imagine going through years and years of not feeling like you can breathe or having asthma exacerbations over and over and over again. And just, you know, sometimes I would go to sleep and not be sure if I was going to wake up in the morning. That's how bad they used to be. Um, and nobody could really understand what I was going through but me. So I had this negative mindset because I just had so many near-death experiences for me. Fast forward, I come back to the United States and my asthma gets controlled. I'm on medications. Everything's good. I can breathe again. No issues. But the negative mindset didn't go away. It was like a wound um, in my head that just didn't go away and I couldn't figure out how to get rid of it. So yeah, so I've gone through most of my life, um, basically college life, medical school, residency, with this terrible mindset you know um again kept expecting the worst in every single way and i couldn't figure out what was going on but through my self love journey and trying to evaluate things and learning reading personal development um i was starting to slowly love myself and i was able to tell myself that you know I'm on medications, I'm not going to die, even though if something happened, something trivial will happen, and I would think, oh my god, I'm going to die. <laughs> um, so last week, my daughter, who's three, ended up really sick, and I had to take her to the hospital. And again, the thoughts came back, because um, she ended up having issues with respiratory, um, she had respiratory disorder um, issues, she had a hard time breathing, um, she just looked terrible. And, you know, obviously we're in a time of COVID, so I worried about COVID, um, could be other things. Um, and as I was taking her to the hospital, I had thought that I had managed all of this stuff, but it came right back and it was like, oh my God, you gave your daughter this disease. Um, like, you know, and she's not even been diagnosed with asthma, but I just had all the worst possible things that you can think of, you know? So I'm sitting there in the ER, and they come into a chest x-ray, I'm looking at it, I'm just making sure that the bases are clear, you know, COVID, it's not COVID, and then I see this pneumonia, and I'm like, okay, she has a pneumonia. And, you know, then my head thinks, oh my God, that's how your asthma started. You started with a pneumonia, and then it became this uncontrollable asthma. And then I heard that thought, and I said, but we have treatment for asthma. And you're in the United States. If she has asthma, you can manage it. 
and I had a nebulizer that I had to give her and I was like you can teach her how to use a nebulizer if she needs one so there's no need to be worried there's no need to come up with terrible you know end game options you know you have all the tools to help your kid and for me that was so amazing because I literally literally heard myself be negative and I talked myself out of that negativity and that was it I didn't hear the thoughts again I spent the last week with her at home just trying to get her better but for me it was such a profound and monumental improvement in my mental health just to know that I was able to listen to the negative thoughts and um, not let it consume me and actually just give it a rebuttal and then it was quiet again so you can choose your thoughts you can choose your thoughts